The most underrated quarterback in the league is Ryan Tannehill. When DeAndre Hopkins chose to sign with the Titans, Twitter couldn't believe it. He picked that quarterback? That's official. I'm a Titan. Hey. Looking at preseason NFL QB rankings around the league for the 2023 season, Tannehill is being grossly disrespected. PFF ranked him 19, behind Justin Fields, a completely unproven player who excels as a runner but still struggles as a pocket passer. Pro Football Network has him one spot higher at 18, but still behind Justin Fields. The 33rd team has him 20. Rotoballer has him in their low-end starting caliber tier at 21st, well behind Fields and even significantly behind Kirk Cousins, a comparable player to Tannehill with less mobility. You like that? Lines.com has him 21st, Last Word on Sports has him 23rd, just one spot ahead of completely unproven Jordan Love, USA Today has him in Tier 5, quarterbacks who need the right situation to thrive-ish, at number 22 behind Justin Fields, Daniel Jones, and others, two full tiers behind reliable veterans who will get you to the playoffs, which is exactly what Tannehill has been for his entire stint in Tennessee. CBS Sports has him 25, actually behind Jordan Love and others including Russell Wilson, Bryce Young, who hasn't played an NFL snap, Daniel Jones, Justin Fields, and only one spot ahead of rookie Anthony Richardson. But the cherry on top was the recent article from Sharp Football that ranked the Titans' QB room as the 28th best in the league, behind Wilson, Daniel Jones, CJ Stroud, Bryce Young, Mac Jones, Kenny Pickett, and even the Colts' Anthony Richardson, Gardner Minshew combo. The numbers simply don't back this up. Look, I'm not advocating for Tannehill to be ranked as a top 10 quarterback, but he's at least above average and certainly deserves to be grouped with the quote reliable veterans who can get you to the playoffs. He's taken the Titans to two division titles and three playoff appearances in four seasons, only missing out last year due to a high ankle sprain that ended his season in week 15. Since taking over as the Titans starter in 2019, Tannehill has the fourth highest passer rating among active quarterbacks at 100.5, ahead of Joe Burrow, Josh Allen, and many of the NFL's top quarterbacks. What a great throw by Ryan Tannehill. Looking at advanced QB metrics, Tannehill ranks third in the combined EPA plus CPOE metric, fifth in EPA per play, and second in success rate since 2019. Even last season, in what was a down year, Tannehill was ninth in red zone accuracy, of the end zone, and touchdown. fourth in under pressure accuracy, Tannehill pump fakes in trouble and gets rid of it to Hilliard, 12th in deep ball accuracy, what a throw and what a catch, and he had the fourth highest completion rate on passes of 20 yards or more. Play action, Tannehill pump fakes in trouble, trying to go down the field, it's short, Westbrook and Keenan! His PFF grade in 2019 ranked third overall among QBs. He was fifth in 2020 and eighth in 2021. Downfield, Brooks goes up and gets it. Last season, Tannehill was affected by a subpar supporting cast. Aaron Brewer ranked 46 out of 50 guards. Nicholas petit frere and Dennis Daly ranked 74th and 78th out of 81 tackles. On top of that, Tannehill injured his ankle in week seven and wasn't right for the rest of the season. While he played through the injury for six games, he re-aggravated it in week 13 against Philadelphia, but played through it, then re-injured it again in week 15, eventually ending his season early. This year, with the addition of DeAndre Hopkins at wide receiver and three new starters on the offensive line, including 11th overall pick Peter Skaronski, new left tackle Andre Dillard, and new right guard Daniel Brunskill, who handled Aaron Donald, the best defensive player in the game, when they met last season, and with Tim Kelly taking over play calling duties after Todd Downing was fired for his poor performance as the team's offensive coordinator, Tannehill should get back to his 2019 to 2021 form as he and Henry take what could be their last dance together in Nashville. While it's true that Tannehill has struggled in the playoffs, his performance in the regular season deserves more respect. As the Titans starter, he's amassed a 36 and 19 record with two playoff wins. In the regular season, he's engineered 15 fourth quarter comebacks and 13 game winning drives. There's simply no justification for ranking him in the 20s among starting quarterbacks, even after a down season in 2022. Russell Wilson and Deshaun Watson struggled much more than Tannehill ever has in Tennessee, and yet you'll find these two quarterbacks consistently ranked 10 or more spots higher than Tannehill on the same lists. Go Broncos country, let's ride baby. Is he a top 10 QB in the league? Not right now, but he's being underrated. And in 2023, he'll prove he still belongs in the quote, reliable veterans who will lead you to the playoffs tier. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like it, subscribe to the channel, and drop a comment below.